Hello everybody, this is just a general video to marvel at some of the weird heads and faces and strange statues from the past which depict giant, incredibly giant brains. And these are from the lost types of human, don't exist anymore. And it is with like super brains from possible giants that many ancient marvels were witnessed, now forgotten. One of them being these stones, absolutely unbelievable, just unbelievable. We don't know how they were fit together, how they were put together like this. Some say cut, I say some cut, some poured, who knows. And we turn to this, this is the Ubaid cult from pre-Iraq 4000 BC. This is really a reptile cult. In this case, you know, people have said ancient astronauts, spacesuits, but what it really is, these are snakes or, or lizards, lizard, lizard faces. And this is a type of being which is worship. It's a snake man. And something like this might be related to the snake of the Tree of Eden. But does it actually depict some kind of creature? Probably not. The crystal skull. Some have said that the crystal skulls, and there are a f quite a few of them, were made with modern machinery. And therefore, they're made in the 19th century. They said they popped up mysteriously in, in jewellery shops, sold to auction houses, not much provenance. But I don't know if anyone's ever said that they could have been carved with ancient high-tech tools. They were carved possibly with tools that one would expect existed in the 19th and 20th centuries. But I've said many times that e Egypt, and other people have said that Egypt has, ancient Egypt reached at least the 19th century in terms of its sophistication. And if Egypt, why not places like Peru in Central America with their sophisticated walls? They could easily have made this thousands of years old and we haven't found a way to date them yet. Saying that they come from the 19th century is like saying that humans in the past were stupid and we're getting smarter and smarter when that is actually not the case, as is shown in this video. Humans had weird large brains before, you know... What, what are these creatures, exactly? What are they? Genetic experiments from a lost era? A lost age? Could be. I think there's something very strange about these. I don't think they're made from simple binding of babies. There's something more than this. The cranial capacity is just too large. You don't increase cranial capacity by binding. It's one of the things that's been nagging me about some of their explanations. Some people find one explanation which doesn't work if you really think about it, and they latch onto it to explain everything. This is old stuff from Egypt. And we, we see a weird-looking creature here. That's quite a large head, by the way, for that body. They're all large heads for their bodies. This is pre-Egypt. This is Hemiunu, the architect of Giza. This head is not especially remarkable. Again, that's weird. Okay, that is quite odd. Uh, again, this head is not remarkable. It's Hemiunu again. Okay. What on earth is this? This is, I don't know, <laughs> some kind of leprechaun or something. Uh, oh man, who knows? And again, look, giant heads. Giant heads in ancient Egypt. Because ancient Egypt, there was a, a civilization before Egypt. Which was so incredible. And their legacy is the Great Pyramid. Those stone coffins. An enormous head, and, and this, is, this is some kind of priest or something. Just enormous. You don't see people, you don't really see people like this today walking around. It, it's something that's been lost, some genetic code which has disappeared. This is Imhotep, the builder of, well, they say he was the builder of Zelda's pyramid or something like that. He's similar to biblical Joseph in a way. Because he helped the pharaoh quite a lot. He invented writing, allegedly. If you look at that head, that head is enormous. 
How many people do you know with a head that looks like this? That's, that's unbelievable. Some kind of inventor or something, and the fact is we really don't know when he lived. Apparently, Third Dynasty, but who, know, who knows? He could be mythological as well. And and what the hell is this? This is from Egypt as well, I believe. And it's just... Uh, I don't know. This is the Nakata period. If you recall a previous video, I talked about Nakata pottery as being from an earlier layer, an intrusive layer, and the Nakata people dug it up. But then again, if you look at these heads, wow. Look, if that's an adult holding a baby, I mean, what's going on here? And look at that ear. It's enormous. Why is the head... Almost as big as the chest. This is unbelievable. Again, that one. That one. Weird, weird, weird. Weird mask. Weird. This is pre-dynastic. Yeah, it could just be for the theatre. And again, this is a, a, a snake goddess. This is a fertility symbol. Maybe they, they made this to help get pregnant or something. I don't know, but I, I don't think humans look like this. But... As you can see from this video, humans did look very different, and their huge brains, intelligence has helped them to build walls like this, and we aren't close to understanding how this was built and the materials that were used. Guys, thanks very much. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, please.